So lungworm and coughing cows has been a real challenge for Irish dairy farmers over the last couple of years. And it's costing a lot of money and a lost performance and immunity. It's opening the door to other diseases. So we're going to look at some of the clinical signs that we would expect to see with lungworm and how we would maybe make a diagnosis on farm. So just to remind ourselves again of lungworm, some of the clinical signs, why do they occur? If you think about coughing, particularly in the parlor, it's that irritation of the worm inside in the airway. The irritation of the young worm traveling and developing through the lungs. Just think about that, how much damage it's doing. Now as you increase the numbers, it gets very, very serious. That can cause coughing, it can cause pneumonia, it opens the door for other agents. It can affect your fertility, your herd's immunity. Sometimes herds with infestations of lungworm won't be coughing, and I've seen that as well. So it's always worth investigating these problems to kind of make a diagnosis, to understand, is it lungworm that's showing us these clinical signs? Remember, not every cough is lungworm, and that's really important to remember. There's other agents like bacterial infections that can cause coughing, viruses can cause coughing, and this is a challenge with lungworm. It's sometimes it might even start as lungworm, and it'll be a bacterial or viral infection that will continue the problem. So we should never make the assumption just in coughing alone that lungworm's an issue. And that's why diagnosis and diagnostics and working with your vet is very important. So how do we diagnose lungworm in our farms? Well, if cattle are out of grass, it's kind of obvious, you know, if it's one of the main, I suppose, differentials for coughing particularly, you know, for moving animals, bringing them in for milking. It gets more difficult with lungworm diagnosis for confirming it because fecal samples, uh, while we use them for other parasites, they, they need adult lungs to, lungworm to be in the lungs producing these young larvae, which means if we go in too early, we might miss it. And with the challenge of reinfection syndrome, we don't actually get adult development because of the immunity stopping it, but we do get larvae causing problems. So we, we look at bloods, bulk milks, again, they take time and aren't as reliable. So you'll see more vets talking about bronchiolar lavage, where we flush fluid into the lungs, looking for these larvae, and if not them, the cells that indicate this inflammatory reaction from lungworm, they're quite useful. And I suppose finally, post-mortems, if we lose animals on farm, and you can do with severe lungworm infections, you should get a post-mortem done to check what is the cause, and particularly if it's out of pasture, look at lungworm in younger animals uh, and see what the lungs are like. So lungworm can be difficult to diagnose, and often probably the premium is that lung flushing or bronchiolar lavage. So it's worth getting your vet involved in these cases to see, is it lungworm is the issue? Is that what's causing the coughing in your herd? Is that what's causing the problems? So we know that lungworm is a big challenge. We know it's costing us a lot of money and it's affecting our herd. So we need to look at control strategies and options around managing lungworm in our grazing systems. We'll do that in the next video, particularly looking at the whole idea of lungworm vaccination.